industrial wastewater treatment lecture number 16 in last lecture we discuss about dairy wastewater the process at dairy and quantity as well as quality of wastewater produced by dairy industry today we will discuss about treatment of this wastewater various alternative flow sheets then waste minimization and byproduct recovery for this dairy industry so if you remember the characteristics of dairy wastewater it has high bod value cod value then tds suspended solids and even oil and grease so it requires primary as well as secondary treatment now primary treatment consists of bar or screen followed by grid chamber to remove settleable heavy inorganic solids and this is followed by oil and grease trap or separator as dairy wastewater contains high amount of oil and grease that is fat so removal of oil and grease is must and then wastewater is sent to equalization tank now equalization tank here requires aeration facility because the wastewater is readily putrescible and if the retention time exceeds two hours then it will start uh, decaying in equalization tank itself so which is not the objective of equalization tank so for prevention of the biodegradation in equalization tank aeration is provided and from equalization tank wastewater is sent for treatment of removal of suspended solids and colloids that is coagulation fluctuation and sedimentation some dairies also prefer plain sedimentation rather than coagulation fluctuation and settling remember one thing whenever the biological treatment consists of combination of anaerobic and aerobic units or treatment in that case many times the last step of primary treatment that is removal of suspended solids and colloids is skipped and wastewater is sent directly to the secondary treatment anaerobic part of secondary treatment so here the anaerobic unit itself act as settling basin and the organic content of suspended solids also contribute to anaerobic degradation as well as methane gas formation so depending upon the units employed for secondary treatment the primary treatment units will vary so let's look at the secondary treatment so most of the biological treatment they are suitable and can be employed efficiently for dairy wastewater treatment because the wastewater is readily biodegradable so trickling filter single stage or two stage up to 95 percent efficiency is achieved very popular is activated sludge process where efficiency is in the range of 85 to 95 percent oxidation ditch which is cheaper alternative to asp is also popular another cheap treatment is aerated lagoons that also very popularly used since the initial bod of dairy wastewater is high about 1000 milligram per liter so combination 
of anaerobic treatment followed by aerobic treatment is also cheap and efficient alternative and sometimes if digester or UASB is employed this also results in recovery of methane gas or biogas. So anaerobic lagoon followed by stabilization pond that is also preferred and another alternate treatment is use of anaerobic digestion with recovery of biogas and then it is followed by activated sludge process. All these treatment gives high efficiency and it is possible to achieve disposal standard for the dairy wastewater. So here you can see some treatment flow sheet, flow sheet number one where Affluent is taken to screen and grit removal followed by oil and grease removal, then equalization with aeration and coagulation, flocculation and settling. The supernatant from PST is taken for secondary treatment whereas sludge is sent to sludge drying bed. Here secondary treatment you can see activated sludge process which is followed by secondary settling tank. Excess sludge is then signed for further treatment and disposal, whereas part of the sludge is recycled to maintain MLVSS. The supernatant from secondary settling tank is subjected to disinfection and then it is it can be disposed as treated affluent. You can see here one more flow sheet where after screen grit removal and oil and grease removal, the wastewater is taken in equalization tank with aeration and from here it is fed to secondary system consists of UASB and ASB. So an anaerobic, uh, upflow anaerobic sludge blanket. Now here you can see the step of settling is skip because UASB takes care of that part. Here it also offers option of recovery of biogas. The treat, uh, affluent is further treatment, uh, further treated aerobically like activated sludge process followed by SST, supernatant from SST is treated, disinfected and then it is ready for disposal. So various alternative treatment is possible and they all are efficient. Now let us focus on waste minimization. So as huge quantity of wastewater is produced per liter of milk processed, this industry also offers tremendous opportunity for water conservation and waste minimization. So some of the steps includes provide more draining time for milk cans and use of drip pans. Then for rinsing use high pressure but low volume rinse. Prevent overflow from various units like vats, tanks, cooler. Then prevention of leakage because huge network of pipeline is involved in this uh, floor or the actual processing unit. Segregation of clean wastewater from strong wastewater. For example, segregation of cooling water, most of the cooling water used is indirect cooling and it is free from any contaminant. So if it is segregated, separated, then it can be readily reused and recycled, right? And last is take all the measures to prevent entrainment 
of milk solids in condenser water especially in during vacuum evaporation so this ensures that water is free from contaminant and it enhances potential of reuse and recycling now last point by product recovery so this industry offers tremendous scope for by product recovery first is recovery of buttermilk once butter is separated the remaining liquid it has high nutritional value and it can be readily used for human consumption very popular in india and it is possible to recover animal feed next is recovery of protein from whey now whey protein nowadays is very popular especially for people who use gym who do heavy exercise they use whey protein as protein supplement i hope you remember what is whey whey is the liquid remaining after cheese is prepared the solids forming cheese are separated so where whey is not used for human consumption it is possible to recover animal feed okay then use of whey for yeast propagation and recovery of animal feed so animal feed recovered not directly from whey but first cultivate yeast or prepare yeast culture using whey and then recover animal feed from the yeast okay then recovery of casein from rejected milk casein is very popular form of protein and instead of throwing the spoiled rejected milk it can be used for recovery of casein which has many industrial application even the oil and grease separated in etp it can be used for soap manufacturing so these are the various by products which can be recovered this will reduce load on etp as well as it also offers some economic gain for the industry okay so here we end the lesson number 16 and in the next lesson that is lesson number 17 we will discuss about textile industry manufacturing process so thanks everyone